Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today is Scrubby Sunday and what that means is that each week I'm going to either knit or crochet a dishcloth and I thought this would give me a chance uh, to be able to throw knitting in here every once in a while because I do like to knit. I'm not really like an expert knitter or anything but I was hoping this would help me practice my skills once in a while. And dishcloths are just so much fun to make and there's so many different designs and so many different patterns to choose from. Uh, so far I've been using free patterns and I'll list the uh, links to all of the patterns that I've done this month in the description. With the exception of the first cloth that I did, I did a small knit cloth, which I'll show you in a minute here, uh, that I just kind of made up the pattern for. And I'm not going to do a tutorial on it. It's nothing special. So, I mean, you'll see when you, when you see it. But this week, I'm really excited about this one because I think it's so pretty. I love it. And I'm going to make one for myself too, because I just love this so much. Unfortunately, our printer was low on colored ink when I was ready to print this. We have some now, but uh, this pattern is printed in black and white. But I'll show you, it's called Apple A Day Dishcloth. It's a free pattern from Yarnspirations. And in the picture, there's red outline on this one and there's a green outline on this one. So you could have a red apple or a green apple. And I thought, oh, that's so cute. I really have to try it. And so here's how mine turned out. They are so cute. I just love it. There's even like a little hook if you wanted to hang it up. So that's this week's. So with Scrubby Sundays, I'm going to every Sunday do a different dishcloth and then the last Sunday of the month I will start a giveaway for the four that I did for this month. So I'm going to open up a giveaway. I'll show you all four and then I will explain the rules to you. Please make sure you listen to the rules. I am not going to be picking a winner from my comments. So if you comment uh, I'm not going to include you in this giveaway and I will explain why. So you saw today's. Today's was the apple a day. This one is a knitted one. It's a, I think this one was called Be Mine Dishcloth and it was a free pattern. If you're a knitter and you want to try it, there's a uh, link to the pattern in the description. This one said easy and it really was. I, I was nervous with the heart shape that it wasn't going to be easy, but it was easy. I could figure it out very easily. This one's a crocheted one. I think this was called Take a Sip. I thought this was adorable too. A mug with some kind of foamy drink on top. Sorry. So this is so cute. And then this is the one that I was telling you about that I made up. I was just practicing my knitting stitches because it had been a while since I knit. And this is a small little dishcloth. And I think it would be perfect for just a small container, maybe a Tupperware or lunch container or something like that. If you were curious, I just did, um, I think this was called the garter stitch on the outside and then the, or is this the garter stitch? I can't remember now. It's been a while since I've used um, knitting terminology. But I just did like a little border and then the inside is the, that stitch, whatever it's called. So I'm sorry, I should have been more educated <laughs> before I did this. So here's how the giveaway is going to work. I'm gonna send all four of these dishcloths to one lucky winner. If you are in, oh, let me do the YouTube rules really quick. YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway. Nobody gave me the yarn, nobody donated the yarn to me. It was all yarn that I bought myself. Uh, I, nobody helped me make this. I used pat free patterns, which I'll put in the description, but I didn't, um, you know, nobody's getting money for me making these patterns or giving me money for any making these patterns, anything like that. This was all from me. Um, you must be 18. I think that covers the most important things. Uh, so what I would like you to do, my email is in my description below. I'd like you to email me uh, where I would send this. So put an e get an email ready on the subject line, put dishcloth, that way I can find it easily. And then I really just need your name and address. The um, full, like, 
when I say full name, I mean first and last, because if I'm going to be addressing it to you and I only have a first name, that looks weird. So whatever I would need to address it to you, and then your address, and I'm going to open it up today. Let me see, it is, of course it doesn't have the day listed, 27, 27. I think today is the 29th. Alexa, what is Tuesday's date? January 24th, 2023 was on a Tuesday. No, that's not what I mean. Alexa, what is the date this coming Tuesday? January 31st, 2023 is on a Tuesday. 31st, so today is the 29th and I'm going to have it going until the 31st Tuesday. I will announce the winner. So, um, I will be accepting emails. It, I, I have to, I'm on Eastern Standard Time and I have to work Tuesday, so it probably won't be until either late afternoon or sometime in the evening on Tuesday. So I'll accept emails. I'll check them right up until when I make the video. And this is open worldwide. Don't worry about, you know, I, I offered to ship it worldwide. So if you're interested, I would love to have you uh, join in the drawing. The only caveat to that is that I'm paying only um, what it costs to ship from my post office. So if you have on your end, if you have to pay duties, taxes, fees, anything like that, I'm not going to pay those. I am just, uh, my job ends when I go to my post office and pay for the postage. <laughs> so, um, and it has to be an address that can be shipped to from the United States. I know most places that's not a problem, but I'm just saying that just in case you live in kind of a tricky area. Um, and I think that's everything. So if you wanted to hear about the scam, if you already know about you know the scams and why I'm asking to do it this way, you can end the video here. I'm not gonna talk about anything else. But I just wanted to explain for those of you who are wondering why I'm doing it this way, there are there have been a lot of people scamming giveaways giveaways in the comments many different ways where people would ask for information from people and entering the drawing they'd say hey I'm strings and threads and and I need this information for you from you um, or the other thing that was happening is people were looking at the winning drawings and they were quickly emailing the the person who was doing the drawing and saying, hey, I'm the winner, here's my address. And then the person who actually won missed out on the prize because somebody else um, already took it. And I don't want that to happen to you guys. I want, I know it seem, it might sound weird that I want the information up front, but if I have the information up front, I know I have the real information. So, um, you know, if you have any questions about that, you can comment or send me an email. I do have my email in the description. Uh, so I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.